Well, how's she going today? It's the next day. We just cut this yesterday, 12 hours ago. And she's dry. So, Ryan's out here. It's his last day here. He'll be gone tomorrow. And uh, I think we'll probably end up finishing this up. Uh, we just kind of started here. We're just getting the outside rounds done. And we got a whole shitload of bales already. Got to be about 30 rolls and haven't even done anything. Kind of looks like a maze in here because after we cut, we went uh, crazy on cutting uh, the, uh, the wetland, the sloughs there. So There goes Ryan. Just giving her. Got some big windrows here. Got a bail. Well, we were baling side by side here, and I noticed Ryan had a, he was dumping a bale out, and uh, I saw hydraulic oil spraying from the gate hose, hydraulic hose. So we blew a hydraulic hose on the gate, and uh, so he's going to take it back to the shop, take it off, and then we'll see if we can, <laughs> we'll see if we can uh, run her into John Deere. Uh, it might not be too late yet. I don't know what time it is. They close at five, so might just do an after-hours call yet. I thought there was like something on fire. It was like smoke, but it was that fine spray from the hydraulic hose. I thought it was, looked like almost like smoke. But all right, I'm gonna finish off here. So Dad's finished raking. He's done. Uh, Ryan's at uh, at the shop changing the uh, hydraulic hose, and Sean is just finishing up behind me here. And uh, I would say breaking hay for 2021 is done. All we're gonna do is bail up. We're not gonna rake any of that like I mentioned before, so I'm just gonna bail that up center. That'll be uh, slough grass. You can, we'll just throw it down in the bedding and they can munch on it, lay on it, whatever they want to do. So that's gonna work good for that. up and out of the way here. Sean's gonna go back and help Ryan change that uh, hydraulic hose. And that is finished. All done. All done. had a little chat with dad so they're heading home put the rakes away well, hopefully maybe I hope it rains so we can get a second cut I was looking at my canola today it looks pretty pitiful 
Uh, they got a lot where my canola is at the south farm. Got a lot less rain there, and it was really hot, and the canola is thin. Um, it's okay, but it's thin. But I, I hope it yields 20. I just hope it yields 20. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to Bailey. Oh, look who showed up! He's back! Time to join the party. Hello. Looks like the hose worked. We weren't sure, but that must have been the one. <laughs> Well, we should finish in a couple hours here. We got uh, 60, just about, uh, it's got to be 100 bales here now. So there's going to be at least 200, and then uh, I bet you 150 of those, uh, those, uh, slew hay bales. The majority of them are back there. Been more than last year. Sunset. It's kind of fitting for my uh, last few bales. Great pipes on his last little morsels of hay there to pick up. Gotta get it all, can't leave it. Holy man, does it ever feel damp out here now? Well, we're in the swamp, so it kind of stands to reason it would feel kind of damp out here. Isn't that pretty? There's a Kodak moment. There we go. Finished. See what I did there? I see what you did there. Were you waiting for me or what? We're thinking the same. 
looks all right. Yeah. Although I can't tag Martin Deerline on this picture because there's two cases in the picture. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I said we're pretty much technically done hay 21. Except for this, except for this little, that's just uh, bedding and uh, whatever they, they eat it, they eat they it. They eat it, they eat it. If they don't, it goes for windbreaks and all that stuff. Bedding. How many did you get? I got, I can't remember. I think I'm 108. Well, I'm, I gotta be over 100. I gotta be about 120. I can't say even more. So, I didn't look until the last time we looked. So, we'll have to okay. write her down in the book. Well, time to hit her back. Sure's, yeah, sure's getting damp, cold. eh? Getting cold, getting cold out here. Damp. Not like last night. On Not, the yeah, Sunday. last night was cold. And if it was tonight, I think it'd be colder. Uh, I wouldn't have gone. <laughs> no, I'll have a beer at the house. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, it's 20 after 10, you can see the fog rolling in, that's how damp it is out here. Uh, we need another rain, another inch would do us good here again. Hopefully uh, it's supposed to be pretty hot again, so hopefully it brings a thunderstorm or two and no hail, that'd be nice. Get another downpour. Just about home. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Just like Meredith says from this farm wife. There. That's that. <laughs> that's it that's it for first cut eh yeah you finally got used to the tractor seat yeah my ass not sore enough <laughs> i gotta go home and do it all over again yeah and i gotta do it all over again tomorrow a little bit yeah should yeah. finish it shouldn't take too long with that stuff no but uh, get another hundred out of there yeah oh yeah easy yeah uh, baylor's gonna need a bath there where that hydraulic hose broke Sprayed some oil on the side there. I've changed one of those, that same hose on the 535 where it has to go through the axle tube across the other side to the baler. It wasn't fun, eh? Uh, easy to get out. Yeah, harder to get back in. Yeah. But Sean came and Sean. helped Sean! Right, Sean. He right, showed up. Yeah. That a boy, Sean. Yeah, he's not <laughs> even here. We can't even like pat him on the back. No. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, there he is. Sean! Must have heard us coming. Yeah, so Sean was helping uh, Ryan there change the hose. You came just in time, eh? He just pulled in the yard and I was putting him back. Like, Who came in here first, Dad or you? Yeah. No, Dad was behind there. Or... I got some good footage of Dad there. He was taking off. And... <laughs> oh, and, uh, yeah. No. Grandpa Walter. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been calling him all week. Yeah. Grandpa. Here he goes. Sean's grandpa, Walter. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of family now. I've been here. Yeah. Years. Yeah. We're ready to put you on the picture and hang you on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to call it a night. We'll talk to you all later. Just get it close first. Oh, that's just all the shut off. Yeah. <laughs>
Then what do you do? Flip it over, quarter yep. turn? We'll flip it over, square it up. I've seen this on YouTube once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll give it a flip. There you go. The log is so wet, you probably don't need lube. What's that? The log is so wet, you don't well, need lube. Usually it's uh, the side. Yeah, she's got uh, two sides square now. One for our third side. <coughs>
That's yeah. what we use them. Slabs. Slabs, yeah. Well, these aren't even slabs. These are actually just flitches. They're just correct term. And you just got a little bit of bark on them on each side. And it, if you wanted to, you could get a... Uh, what the heck do you call those machines now? Is it a planer? It's not the planer. It's, uh, it'll cut them in so nice. Oh. Uh, somebody on YouTube will know. I just can't. It's on the tip of my tongue. Like a table saw thing? It's like a table saw, yeah. Somebody in your channel might know. I don't have one. <laughs> a lot to keep her, for sure. Actually, I'll put it here to cover them up. Good to cover them up. Way on the rock. This log's a little bit too far, too. Yeah, try and make it square. Yeah, we could skid it back to where it's off. Blade for the coolant in the winter. Uh, uh, windshield washer and a tree. Oh, yeah. And then summer, just water and disco. Okay. So we're just uh, getting her down to a six by eight. There, look at that sucker. I'll take it off. Nice inch board. One by eight. We need some more inch boards anyway. I could have cut it into a two by eight, but I thought one side was pretty bad. So. Okay, so now we have a, uh, uh, a six by eight, so we're gonna flip it up. You guys can flip her over. Flip her back and slide her up. Okay, and then on this guy, so we can we can cut all two by sixes. And if I would have cut that into a two by eight, those two inch boards, I could have put it here if I didn't want the two by eight, and cut a one two by six or a one or two two by fours. So just depends on what you want. So on this one, uh, more thinking than you think. Yeah, it's a lot of thinking sometimes. And if you get if you're sawing constantly, then you'll. Uh, It'll just come to you. Okay, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. But I haven't saw it like once a year, a little bit. So, uh, the, the log dog, put it, screw it in right on the, like uh, where it would be uh, two inches. Because you want it, yeah, right about, yeah, a little lower, right there. Just screw it in. Good, right there, yeah. And that'll just hold the last board, keep it from, oh, yeah. So, okay, Sean. I think it should be set for you to give it. Yep. Just lift it up, come back and go again. And then you'll set it to four after. So you don't have to take the boards off. You, just cut through, you, can, you can leave them there and come back if you're by yourself. Yeah. So. How come Sean always keeps it running? I don't know. Because the pusher is I, hard. I think, uh, I think I got it just on a uh, quarter oh. choke. 
So yeah, just go down to four, Sean. Four. So you're going in two inch increments. Yeah. See where the, so where the, the full rough cut. Yeah. The, the newer mills have uh, have it uh, kind of set up better where you can just crank it and it'll go inch by inch. Okay. So he's going to bend down there, look at the scale, get it set up just right, which is kind of sucks, but it works. It works. Better measurement yeah, measure. this is a year 2000 mill, so. Yeah. There he goes. And then sometimes it just needs to run for a while to clear itself yeah. out. Put some sea foam in there. Yeah, I do. I put sea foam in this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Better sponsor sea foam. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll undo it. You just work the wheel. Where are we at now? Yeah. Four. Two. Up a bit, up a bit, oh, down. Yep. done we're finished what do you think oh hell yeah these will be going on the corral we need them up here at the pen. yeah we need it for this pen here uh our corral at home that's uh that's why i went and got the logs because we got a lot of work to do on our corrals in this it's fall never any work. well it is yeah but nice new lumber it smells good here yeah. we had smell of vision on the cameras yeah just like when you bale hay yeah it's like uh if you could it's better than uh pine tree air freshener yeah it's a real stuff yeah it's we should just paint. we should just bag the, we should just bag up the sawdust and Tied put it in little little just sacks in our vents. yeah <laughs> <laughs> just hang it from the mirror a little sack yeah. little mesh net stuff to get the tea bags yeah oh. here sean oh, you know that Here they just take them off. Nice I'm cutting. So there you go. How do you like that? Sweet, eh? Yeah. Nice. What do you think, Sean? You can build your new house on the hill. <laughs> right, Tyson? Gloves. I think I got it. They never do that when they're wet like this yet. You got stickers here too. Space, stick, them. space them out so they dry. But since we just got one layer there, so right, we'll just put it in the middle. Cut 
one in half or you can take it home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight footer. Fucking yeah. bugs all be in here. Only a couple in there. Protein. You know how much this would cost in the store? I think they're like 16 bucks a piece. I had to buy some. I brought my trailer. Yeah. Actually, I know a guy who's got a trailer. There's the last one. Oh, I gotta bring you good clothes too. Nice and wet, eh, Sean? Yep. Yeah. You know what they're going to say on there. <laughs> you don't even have to say it, right? Okay. That's what we'll put in the pile. Burn pop. That's making hot dogs. Yep. And that's the Norwood sawmill. This is, uh, I think, what's the make of it? Mark IV. So then they came out with the 2000. And then lumber made 36 or something like that. And 34 and the 32. You get a bunch of different sizes now too. And uh, the big ones are cut in 36 inch round. So, yeah. And then you can get them all automated. Uh, uh, they'll automatic ca carriage back and forth. All hydraulics, full hydraulics you can get. Turns along everything if you want. Which is funny. All right, we're gonna cover up and uh, head home. All right, well. Straight Pipe Acres is leaving. Ryan's gonna take off here, head her back home. It's a 12 hour drive, eh? 12 hours, yeah. yeah. Never take. Maybe so 10. He's got a good trip ahead of him again. This time he's doing it in the daylight. Yeah, not all night. Well, I'll have a bit of night. A little bit of night. Last time he drove all night. Yeah. When did you leave? I left at. Uh, like 2 o'clock or something, yeah, eh? Yeah, I was late. Yeah. Well, he'll be driving at night still, so. We got lights. Please. Yeah, we got lights. Well, thanks for everything, Ryan. You betcha, like uh, baling hay and all that, it worked out awesome. Yeah. And it was fun having you here. Five days. That was a it was a good week. We'll, we'll make a trip back again. And yeah. next time you'll have to come out south. There, so. We'll have to come down south. Yeah. And uh, meet up with you and Nick and Tuan. The whole gang. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Hey guys. Yep. We'll see you later. Thanks for having me. Alrighty, take Thanks it easy. Again, guys. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. See you in the next one. Yeah.